Right, here I am, yeah, back at Ling's, yeah, this time, look at this, yeah, Honda NT 1100, oh, what a machine, look at it, and this is my first time, <laughs> ignition on, uh, the rider response, for, okay, yeah, oh, there we go, look at that, um, yeah, DCT, never done it before, oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm dreading this so put it into gear oh and there we go sequential D drive oh, no no uh, no clutch there no pedals feels very weird um, what we got there get those out marvellous anvil mirrors and let's go oh that that feels very strange, yeah? Oh, guess you soon get used to it. There we go, we'll pop out here, because I'm not going down the cross-country route, yeah. Right, and we'll get going, and we'll see what happens. Oh, I've got no gear lever near my foot, that's weird. Oh, look at it, it's going through the gears really quick. Oh my god, I'm in fourth already. That's strange. Oh, we're into sixth. Slow down. What happens if I slow down? Will it change down gear? Yeah, it's changed now. Well, this is very smooth and free of the wind. Yeah, a oh, massive screen in front. Very strange. Very strange indeed. Uh, everyone's been saying to try a DCT um, this is typical Honda like the Africa Twin it's got a billion buttons and because of the DCT they've stuck another few hundred on as well there we go oh, handles just fine it feels quite weighty I don't know if it is I don't know quite how it responds to the throttle, whether it goes down if you wind it back hard or anything. But it feels like there, like it, it ought to be down in a lower gear. So uh, I guess you can go sequential, where you can actually change it up and down here. You've got a down and a up the other side. Um, that's too much for my muttering, riding a bike, the traffic as well when you're fighting what you normally do instinctively but this is <laughs> a very comfortable bike though I do feel like it's just shoving my bottom forward a little bit but I do sort of like it um, I must remember when I get into traffic standing still not to uh, rev the engine <laughs> No, otherwise I'll be straight into the back of the traffic. Yeah, marvellous. Obviously, it's got this uh, onboard computer business going on here. It tells you everything. Uh, voltage, the date. Um, at the moment, I'm doing like 114 miles to the gallon. That's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it says I've got a range of 183 miles, temperature, all that lot. I'm not going to mess about with that. Got this speed twice, just so I don't forget, I reckon. But we'll see how we go. Yeah. Um, quite a nice rumble from the engine, like the Africa Twin. And the CP1100. Yeah. Not a, not a bad sounding engine. Uh, it's got these little clear plastic things there. I don't know what they do. Um, this is £13,500 with DCT and the panniers. Yeah. I don't know what the starting price is. Should imagine considerably less than that. Maybe ten and a half something like that for a basic one I don't know uh, 
obviously it's got USB and uh, 12 volt takeoff there adjustable suspension there can see yeah compression uh, and stuff yeah uh, completely automatic so we'll see how it goes in traffic yeah and on the A14 remembering not to blip the throttle there we go excellent indicator on handling feels like a bit of a lump to get round the corners to be honest but I am being a bit gingerish about it because I'm not used to the gear situation quite a lot of vibrations there but I guess if you used to if you put it onto sequential it would be smoother because you could get up and down the gears a bit better you know obviously no better than the bike um, very windy again today uh, I think the Orwell bridge has been uh, has a reduced speed on it that's how windy it is that gives you an indication so I'm taking it a little steady but this just seems to ride it well yeah yeah you get the impression it'd do this all day long but it is getting buffeted definitely getting buffeted by the wind and I can actually feel it shoving backwards at the round time. But there you go. It sits there quite happy. Well, the wind is. Uh... Well, I'm waiting for it to change down gears. So same routine that uh, I do most of the time now we're out of winter which is down the um, washboard road and the Suffolk road and see how we go uh, here we go onto the washboard road get down the gears and round the corner and there we go I keep wanting my foot keeps twitching yeah gonna be interesting on the senses um, and interesting on the suspension to see if that bounces me forward on the seat I mean, the screen in front of me is quite massive yeah it is so I don't think I'll feel too much wind on, on my helmet buffeting and stuff yeah dead comfortable not getting any wind at all that's just incredible I think from a wind protection, this is probably the best I've had. Yeah. Which is just as well given the strength of the wind today. Uh, absolutely fine over the bumps. No trouble at all. Like the Tiger Twin, I find the throttle just a little bit lurchy and the uh, uh, Africa Twin, I was trying to change down gears with my foot then, weird. Oh, 
not interesting. So now I stop and I'm into neutral. There you go. So what I'll do now is I'm going to switch the camera off and save the battery. Yeah. So this has been a very, very long train. Um, the gateway to the Suffolk Road. Oh no, is there another one? There must be another one. No, we're off. Have you woken up, Zoe? <laughs> it's just weird. We're already in third, having the fourth, fifth, weird, sixth. There's no way would I be in sixth by now. First advisor. Oh, the wind's whistling across here. It makes a difference on cornering and everything. Does the fully automatic, you know, where it's in drive there, because you you require power to get round a corner sometimes. Anyway, we're on the Suffolk Road. You know the routine: small people, tall people, cars, bicycles, trams, horses, dogs, gravel, potholes, everything. This rides it absolutely superbly. Yeah, but down here we'll be able to do a walk round and you can have a look. So, I guess you'd have to do some roads like this with it. I know it's built for the bigger, open, more open roads, but whenever you get where you're going, there's always some roads like this, aren't they? Marvellous. So, here. We'll stop here. And we'll have a little look at it. Yeah, marvellous. Right, here we are. Yeah, bright sunshine. Sorry if that's spoiling your view. Honda NT 1100. What a beast of a bike. This is the DCT. A massive screen on the front there. Absolutely massive. Uh, twin calipers on the front, yeah, twin discs, massive radiator there, uh, oh, exhaust is massive and shiny, yeah, uh, I presume that's the cat, um, massive exhaust at the back there, um, comes with panniers on this model, on the DCT, uh, and the rack, yeah, I mean, look at that for a view. It's marvellous, isn't it? Uh, this is in like gunmetal colour, yeah, metallic. Um, but you can probably see it better from this from this side. Ha! Oh, what a beast of a bike. Um, unusual to ride for me because I'm not used to the DCT. Yeah, but fairly comfy. Uh, just shoves me a bit forward in that seat. Mrs. Tame would like this, I think. She'd be comfortable on this. Um, and it's got lots of gadgets. Yeah, if you like gadgets. But there you go. Um, single disc on the back, obviously. Chain driven. You'd think it ought to be shaft, maybe. I don't know. But there you go. Um, let's get on and do the senses test. Yeah, marvellous. Right, here we are, back on board. Yeah, hot ignition on. Brrr, ding. Um, there we go. Uh, I would pull the clutch lever in and put my foot on the on the on the gear lever, but the rider is responsible. Yeah, okay, I get that. Um, let's get on with the senses. Uh, we're in to drive. Oh, we've got a car coming. I'll just wait for this car to come. Yeah. Um, 
don't know what this P and EB and T is. Don't know anything about that. It's all about the setups. It doesn't matter for this, does it? You know, everyone's different anyway. You'd set it all up differently yourself and we're off. Simple as that. Now we're going to go through a bumpy thir uh, 30 and this is going to try and get into sixth gear which is going to make life very jerky I reckon but I don't know maybe I should try sequential um, and use the up and down I don't know oh it's not as bad as I thought actually it just always wants to get into a higher gear <laughs> it's a bit keen Uh, anyway, let's get on to taste. Crakey. Yeah, how do you get it to change down without having to go into sequential? I don't know. Um, what would it taste like? Well, um, I've no idea. I guess, it, I guess it would be uh, something quite meaty. Um, probably a ham sandwich <laughs> yeah I, there's nothing wrong with a ham sandwich especially with a bit of cheese in as well uh, but I don't know I've no idea what it tastes like I've no idea if it was a dog it'd probably be a Newfoundland or something like that I don't know handling on these back roads is marvellous uh, yeah smell it smells absolutely divine yeah again it's a new bike um, no leaks of anything so no bad smells um, I guess then uh, what does it feel like well it's about <laughs> you know it's Honda um, I'm not surprised everything feels pretty damn good yeah what I don't like are all the switches far too many switches there's got to be a better way to running it um, I think but I might be wrong the DCT would I have the DCT I don't know I'd have to practice with it and try the sequential more um, but yeah, uh, there's, no, there's no question about quality on it at all. Everything's built really well. It's a Honda. Would I have the DCT? I don't think I would. I don't, I don't think I would, no. Um, so where does that put us then? Um, I guess looks well it is what it is isn't it it's got something going on here look someone's having a party um, it's a big touring bike I don't mind it it's exactly what it is the big screen at front does its job well it, unfortunately in this strong wind it does interfere a little bit with it both with its um, speed it sort of pushes you backwards and forwards makes it all a little bit more jerky I think um, and sideways as well get caught a little bit but not too bad you know it's a terrible day for wind um, but yeah uh, so to look at that's that's what it looks like it looks like exactly what it is sound well it's that same twin engine 1100 proven engine uh, that you know makes a nice rumble it's not an unpleasant sound uh, it's quite muffled on this compared to the rebel and the 
Africa Twin but very similar sound I just want to start using my foot and I can't so it's quite strange really um, on these bigger B roads and A roads it's it's much happier yeah but I do like being able to choose my gears and I'd have to practice that really oh I like how it changed down then though So, how does it make me feel? Well, it makes me feel a bit all over the place, to be honest, at the moment. <laughs> yeah, it does. I've got very confused feelings about it. I sort of like it, and I sort of don't. Um, but that's, I think that's more to do with the, the gearbox than anything else. Just a little bit strange, that's all, is what I'd say. And it might not be the bike, it could be me completely. I'll just get my visor down. Jesus. Yeah, when the wind catches you, it really does. But very comfortable to ride. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, I've enjoyed riding it. I'm glad I've ridden it. I'd be very interested in riding a manual, to be honest. Because I think my incompetences with regards to the automatic um, have possibly interfered with my senses. Would it make a, a winter bike? I don't know. Uh, again, I'd want the I'd want the manual, I think. I don't know. It's quite a big lump for a winter bike. You know, you might want a big lump of a bike for touring and stuff during summer, but in winter, you want something uh, that's not too heavy, something that's very manageable on ice and snow. Um, and wet, damp, greasy, horrible conditions. Um, I don't think... I, I would have liked to have seen a shaft drive on this, to be honest. I think if you're going to put DCT on it, put a shaft on it as well for, you know... Maybe you have some thoughts on it. Maybe some of you have got one of these and you'll be able to let me know. I guess most of you, I'm assuming most of you, don't put it in D and you go on the uh, sequential. Uh, when you get going on the open road, it all makes sense. But the rest of the time, it doesn't seem to make sense could be talk, talking absolute baloney of course it's now showing 64 miles to the gallon which I guess is probably about what it is I don't know why it's showing me the voltage I guess they expect you to be running all sorts of electrical gizmos off it I don't know um, but there you go the Honda NT1100 yeah so it's quite a bike would I have one? I said if I had the money, if money was no object I probably would but I'd have the manual I think I bet this is a completely different bike to ride as a manual not even with just a quick shifter you know Oh, I see. Now I've figured out. You can t knock it down yourself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
what an idiot time. Yeah. You should have tried that straight off. Yeah, so you can actually take it down yourself. So there it's gone up one. I'm going to take it down one. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, so maybe I need to do this bike again to give it a fair shot. Um, nothing against the bike, just the, the DCT. I'd have to... Yeah. I'd have to have control of my gears. Everything else is fine. The screen is marvellous. Uh, but I've got to give it back now. Uh, have I enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been a learning curve for me. Yeah, it has. Um, would it have one? Possibly. Possibly. There we go, up here. Bumpity bump. Get it round there. Good turning circle. I would say stuff like clutches light. <laughs> yeah, gearbox is smooth, but there you go. Automatically cuts out. Don't know what that is, I forgot to ask. Yeah, there you go. Let's have a look. Yeah. Honda NT 1100 here at PFK Links Honda, yeah, marvellous bike, um, strange gearbox, need to uh, practice that I think, and maybe give it another go, ta-ta.